Calculate the mean, the median, and the mode for each of the following data sets. Okay, so how do we calculate those? So starting with uh, question A, we're talking about this data set here. The mean, what is the mean? The mean, these are all different forms of averages. These are averages. In other words, ways of finding the middle or the center of a data set. You find the average. And so the mean is the, is the way that is most commonly, the average is most commonly found. Add all numbers and then divide by n, where n is the total number of values. Oops. Total number of values. So add all the numbers and divide by n. In fact, why don't I, why don't I write that a little better? Add all the numbers and divide by n, where that n is the total number of values. Okay, so I'm going to do that then. Let's add up. So on your calculator, if you add all those numbers up, the total of the numbers, well, let's do it this way. So the mean will be the total divided by n and the total number of numbers here. See if I can make that a little better. So the mean will equal total divided by n. So if you add up those numbers right here on your calculator, so what I'm going to do. Um, I'm getting 58. If you add those up, so I just added up all these numbers, got 58. And how many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers. So 58 divided by 8, you add them up and divide, I'm getting 7.25. So that's the mean, 7.25. You just add them up and divide by how many numbers. So that's... That's the first kind of average. The second kind of average is called, whoops, let me go back here, is called median. Now, median is you order the numbers. There's two steps to it. Order the numbers low to high. For, for an odd amount, for an odd amount, you take the middle number. Take, I should say, take the uh, one number in the middle, take the one number in the middle, if you have an even amount of numbers, take the two numbers. Oops. I just, I'm not sure what I, what I hit there. That was a, a mistake. There we go. So, um, Hit the two numbers in the middle. Take the two numbers. If you have an even amount, take the two numbers in the middle, add, and divide by two. Add them, divide by two. All right, so there's two different ways to go. So let's, let's give it a try. So first off, we've got to put them in order. So here we have the numbers. Let's put them in order from lowest to highest. I'm going to put the two... Uh, cross them off as you go. 2 is the lowest, followed by 3. You see the numbers there? 2, 3, followed by, what, 7? And then how many? It's 1, 2, 3, 8s. 1, 2, 3, 8s. 
and then 9 and 13. Double check them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Looks like 8 numbers, and that's how many there are up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it looks like I didn't miss any. So there they are. There's step 1. I put them in order from lowest to highest. And now, do we have an, there's 8 numbers, so we have an even amount. If there were, if there were only 7 numbers, there would be an odd amount, but I have eight numbers, which means there's not one number in the middle. For example, this number right here is not the, is not the one number in the middle. Why not? Because there's three numbers above him and there's four below him. So he's not right in the middle. There's no one number right in the middle. When you have an even amount, you take the two numbers, take the two numbers that are in the middle. So it's both those numbers, isn't it? Both those together are in the middle because there's three numbers above them and three numbers below them. They together are the middle. So you take those numbers, you add them and divide by two, right? Add them and divide by two. You take the average of those two numbers, which is just eight, of course. The average of eight and eight is eight. So eight, so coming over here, eight is our median for that one. Eight is our median. So we did the mean. We did the median. So both these are ways of finding the middle, you realize. These are averages, ways of finding the middle. One way is to do the mean. You add them all up and divide by how many numbers? 7.25, we're saying, is the middle of this data set. But there's other ways to find the average or the middle. Another way is called the median, where you just put them in order and grab the one or two in the middle, depending on whether there's an even amount or odd amount. If there's two in the middle, you average those two. And you get the middle that way. That's called the median. These are different kinds of averages, different ways of getting the middle. Um, all right, so we did the mean and the median. And now they want the mode. Let me explain to you about the mode. The mode is yet a third way of finding the middle, the average. The mode is the, the number that occurs. Let me just call it the value. The value that occurs most often. So which value occurs most often? Well, that would be eight, wouldn't it? There's more eights than anything else. So the mode is eight for this data set. There we go. All right, now let's try all three of these things for part B. Let's redo it. I'm going to I'm going to come on down here where we have more room, and I'm going to redo part B here. Let me do this again for us. There we go. So now let's do the same thing, uh, all those things, for part B. So part B, they want the mean, so take this data set and the mean, the first kind of average, is the total divided by in the number of numbers. So I'm going to use my calculator now. Add up all those numbers. Bunch of decimal numbers. I'm getting 123.5 divided by how many numbers are they there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wait, did I miss one? <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 numbers. So divide by 9, add them up and divide by 9. So I'm getting 13.7, and it wants 1,000, so 2. Three places, thousands places. Seven, the twos go forever. They want me to round to three places. 13.722 in the thousands, right? Tenths, hundreds, thousands, three places. So next, we've got to do the median. Remember how to do the median? It's another measure of the average, the middle. The median, you order, you put them in order, low to high, and you get the, grab the one or the two in the middle. So I'm going to put them in order. So what's the lowest number? Looks like um, 
Next comes, what, is it 11.5? Followed by a whole bunch of 1, 2, 3, 12.5s. 1, 2, 3, 12.5s. 14.5 twice. And um, 16.5. And 19.5. Okay, make sure I crossed them off so I knew I didn't miss any. Okay, how many numbers do we have? We have, we still remember back here, we have nine numbers. So that means there's only going to be one in the middle. Remember when you have an odd amount, you have one. Let's find it. One, two, three, four, five. So this guy right here, see how he's got four numbers above him and four numbers below him. Just like we have a middle finger, to use kind of a crude analogy, we have a middle finger because we have five fingers total, counting the thumb, right? So it's in the middle, two above, two below. When you have an odd amount, like nine total numbers, you have one in the middle. So that is the median. We don't need to add anything or divide by anything. The median is just straight out, 12.5. If there's two numbers in the middle, you add them and divide by two. We had to do that last time. And now, let's find the mode. Remember what the mode is? The mode is the value that occurs the most. And that is 12.5, because there's three 12.5s. So the mode is 12.5 for this data set. All right, there's the second data set. Let's, let's go on now to the third data set. So the third data set, um, C, let me go back and erase some of this. So for C, we'll start with the mean. I'm really working. Oh, wait, I put these answers in the wrong boxes, didn't I? These should have been the answers for B. Down there, not up here. I'm getting confused. Um, and then I should draw a new line down here because we're actually on part C now. All right, so part C, going to look up at that data set, and I'm going to uh, start with the mean. Oops. So the mean for that data set, we're going to add them. Find the total and divide by n. So what's the total of all these numbers? You got some positives and negatives now, so be careful on your calculator. You got to subtract the negatives, right? Add the positives. You got a zero in there. Okay, so I just added them all up. I got. 14.2 divided by, and how many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, don't forget 0, 6, 7, 8, 8 numbers, 14.2 divided by 8, let me write that a little better, 14.2 divided by 8, and I'm getting 1.775. Seven seven five point seven seven five. Did I do that right? Let's see. One point seven seven five on that. And then let's let's find so that's the mean. That's what they all add up to be fourteen point two divided by eight numbers. And um and I'm rounding that to the nearest thousands. Okay, and now let's find the median. So for the median, we have to order low to high.
right? Oh, wait a minute. I added these wrong, didn't I? <laughs> I just found my mistake. Okay, this should be 16. Whoops. I messed up back here. The total should have been 16. This comes out 2. I don't know why I messed up. So the mean should be 2. I just added them wrong, I guess, on my calculator. So that should be 2. Now let's put them in order. So now for the median, let's put them in order from low to high. So in order from low to high, let's let's do it. So from low to high, the lowest number is the most negative, negative 5.4. So negative 5.4, followed by negative 4.2, um, and then 0, and then the positive numbers. So let me cross these out as we go. Then what's the first positive number? 3.2. And then 5. So 3.2 and then 5. Oh, I forgot. I forgot 0.9, didn't I? Let me back up. So 0.9 should have been done. And then 3.2 and 5. And then 6.2. And 10.3. Yep, there we go. Okay, so there's numbers from low to high, and we, we're supposed to grab the one or two in the middle. Now, if there's an even amount, then there's two in the middle. If there's an odd amount, there's one. How many numbers we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's going to be two in the middle, not one. It's these two, isn't it? See how there's three numbers below and three numbers above? They are the middle. What do you do with those guys? You add them and divide by two. So you add those two numbers, divide by 2, and I'm getting 2.05. 2.05, that's the median of that data set. So you put them in order from low to high, grab the 1 or 2 in the middle. If there's 2, you average them. Now finally, the mode. The mode is the one that occurs the most. Mode, the value that occurs the most. Which value is repeated the most? There's there's no values that are repeated. So that means on this one there is no mode because there's no value that's repeated. No value is repeated on that one. So there we go on that. And now we have one more data set. Let's do D. On this one, I'll write the values for D down here. 72, 77, 85. So here's D. 72, 77, 85. 77, 71. And uh, 74 and 4. Okay, so for part D, same three things. First off, got to do the mean which is add them all up, find the total, divide by n, the number of numbers, add them up on your calculator. So I'm getting a total of 460 divided by how many numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers. And that's coming out 65. Now how far do they want me to go here? 7, 1, 4, 3 places. 65.714. 65.714. And then they want the median next. So for the median, remember we always do the median. We order them from low to high and we grab the one or two in the middle. So let's put them in order from low to high. The lowest one is four. Next one is uh, 71, I guess. 71, 72. 74, 77, 77, and 85. There we go. And then you grab the one or two in the middle. Uh, how many are we? have seven totals. There's only going to be one in the middle when you have an odd amount. There it is. See how that's the one in the middle? There's three above him, three below him. So that is the median. The median is just that one number. We don't need to add anything. 
or anything like that when there's just one number in the middle. If there's two in the middle, you average them, add them and divide by two. But if there's just one in the middle, you just grab that one. Finally, last step on this one, they want the mode. That's another way of finding the middle, the average. That is the value that occurs the most. Which value occurs the most? 77, right? Because that one's repeated twice. So the mode is 77.